Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your September 2022 reading. Thanks for being here. This is a general reading for anyone with prominent Scorpio placement in your chart. If the situation warrants, I will extend this and the link will be below. If not, or if you're interested in a personal reading or any of my Oracle decks, the link to my Etsy shop is also down below. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it. I will share with you the channeled messages from spirit. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing a, a smile on my face because it feels like things are about to get interesting. What I heard is things are about to get intense. Someone has deep love they can no longer contain. <laughs> they showed me a visual of someone standing here and someone standing here. It was almost like stick figures and there were dots and it wasn't a straight line in between two people and that could represent anything. It could represent distance, complications, pit stops, tasks, paperwork. I heard all of it. Um, what I heard is, and I think this is a message from one person to the other, I'll get there. Um, my heart was actually really pounding and my stomach felt pretty nervous. So I, I don't know what's going on here, but it sounds pretty good. So let's take a look, Scorpio, and find out what is the overarching energy around this for you. Sounds pretty good. I just have this huge smile on my face. I don't, I don't know what you're ready for, what you're planning, but wow. Okay, let's see what comes through for you. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy around this situation for Scorpio? Wow. I just heard the angels are with you. Okay, I feel one more. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Door to personal healing and happiness. Storm warning. Scorpio strategy that's what i was seeing action okay definitely the between point a and point b is not it's not the straight well no that's not the right way to put it. it's not a straight path i was going to say the straight and narrow um it feels to me like there's something that someone is doing that maybe you don't even know yet you may not be aware okay wow all right, we are going to jump into who you're connected with. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I have to show you the split. I'm sorry. We have the lovers. All right, let's take a look at Scorpio's person. Show us their energy, please. I feel like your person is preparing something, and it could, it could be that now, I'm, I'm boiling this angelic energy down, this first chakra, second chakra. I'm boiling it down to um, stability, determination, passion, and vigor. I feel like this is something that has been a buildup over time that perhaps there is uh, something to prepare, something to do. Definitely with this personal door to healing and happiness, your person has been deliberating about what brings them joy. And it could be that something is being um, a bit upended with this storm warning. Tens are endings. Oh my gosh, look at this, 34, 35, 36. That was totally unplanned, but there's a progression. Something's happening. All right, let's see. Forgiveness. Oh, wow. Hence the knots. 
They have knots in their tummy. I felt it. It was uncomfortable actually. But in addition to that, there is um, a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of drive. I just saw 444. That might be a confirmation for someone. Wow. Death energy. There you are. You are in their energy, Scorpio. They're going through a massive change. Okay. Illumination. I feel like there is something they're seeing clearly. You may have shown them this. They may be going through an awakening. Okay, I'm hearing seeing things from a higher perspective. Okay, let's, yeah, um, I'm gonna pull a card on illumination. What is that about, illumination spirit? Really? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Abundance, love, fulfillment. What a beautiful set of cards. I just heard I know who makes me happy. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. I'm going to leave those out. What a nice energy. Bottom of the deck, we have justice balance in this deck. I feel like there is a relationship that is about to be brought back into balance. I don't know. Do you not see this coming or does this necessitate huge change? Because the storm warning usually comes out when there is, you know, call it a tower moment, something super unexpected, um, life changing, surprising, intense. <laughs> they, they showed me that word again, intense. I'm just checking my camera. Okay, good. It, this looks a lot bigger than it is. I'm working in a small space. I want to make sure you see it. Okay, Scorpio, um, let's take a look at what is going on in their life. What is happening? Wow, five of swords. I, fe I feel like, um, okay, I'm hearing fighting for love, fighting for love. What, what has gone on with them? All right, what's going on in their life? Spirit, Scorpio's person, what is happening in their life, please? Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, well, there it is. I don't make this up. There it is. There's the tower. I felt the energy. It's something big. It's something big. We have the five of cups. They can be motivated by what they, what they are lacking. And maybe that is missing you. Regret, remorse. We have the ten of pentacles, the three of wands, ten of cups. They may be moving on from something big, if, whether it's family, a job, their stability. I feel like, for some reason, I feel like there may be distance involved. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man in Reverse. I'm specifically getting with this Hanged Man Reverse, I'm free. Whoa, whoa. I feel like this is your energy. If not, this is that passion and vigor I was picking up on. Look at the two, three major arcana. Let's get some clarifiers. Queen of Wands, I feel like this is what they have their eye on. I just heard the prize. <laughs> okay, what makes them happy? I know who makes me happy. Let's look at this Queen of Wands. Okay, Seven of Cups. Four of Swords. You, you know what? I feel like this may be... This could either be your energy or their energy, but it's almost as if 
you're not communicating and that's causing confusion. I'm just getting that. Here, let me move these down a little. Let's get one more for the Queen of Wands. I do feel like you're disconnected. Maybe that's why you, you may not see this coming. Look at that. Six of Wands. Magician. With that three of Wands energy, I feel like this is looking toward the future. I feel like they've manifested this connection. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Chariot, Ten of Cups. Let's see what this hanged man in reverse is about. Because I'm hearing breaking free. Wow. New love, a new phase in love. Oh my gosh. Two of cups. Scorpio, you're killing me. This is beautiful. Something needed to wrap up though, and it could be intense. This is that energy that I was picking up. Yeah, and I'm feeling it in my stomach again. It's, it's nervous energy, really nervous energy. Oh gosh. So what is, what is that about? There could be distance between you. I feel like the world is also, you know, kind of a wrapping something up. We have tens all over the reading. We have death, um, storm warning, tower. Okay. Ten of cups. They're either seeing you as their Ten of Cups, Scorpio, or this is a family dynamic that is changing, let's say. Judgment. Hanged man. Okay. They're showing me divine intervention. The divine, the divine is stepping in to a situation. Why? Oopsie. Boy, I can hardly shuffle these cards. I'm having, I'm having difficulty. It could just be this really intense energy. The cards don't want to cooperate. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I don't usually read this card this way. I've heard other readers do it, but I clearly got... Um, somebody's not going to be single. <laughs> this is someone who's independent, earning well, living well. Somebody's not going to be single for long. Uh, and it could be your person. I feel like perhaps there have been choices around who this person dates. And if this is you, that's, you can reverse it. Nine of Wands in reverse. I'm not going to fight this anymore. I'm not going to resist this anymore. That's really interesting because that's not the traditional meaning of this card. There is a guarded, cautious energy with this. Okay, I just heard caution to the wind. My gosh, they may be watching you. They may, this is um, a really beautiful energy. I'm getting like a determination with this. Um, yeah, look at this fool world. Something isn't perfectly clear to you or to them, but I feel like they want to return. I said return. So this might be someone you know from your past. And you may be just, you know, not talking right now. Okay, let's look at this tower. Tower. Why the tower? The storm warning. Reverse? No. Okay. Spirit is telling me upright. Knight of Cups. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Let's look at this Knight of Cups. Tower energy. One more. Okay. Wow. Knight of Wands. Death. Um, here's... Okay, the story they're telling me is that there may have been a tendency for your person to, um, you know, push you away because they didn't want to look at commitment. And I'm, I'm getting with these two coming out together that 
fun and frivolity is over with. Look at that. <laughs> are you making this person, um, you know, are you taking away their, their um, singlehood? <laughs> Let's get another one. Tower. One more for the tower. And I, I think, okay. So, okay, so I'm hearing bottom of the deck emperor by the way so far what i'm what i'm hearing now about this knight of cups that kind of landed sideways is that they withheld from you mm, okay i heard played around played around okay let's just say that forgiveness coming out as an overarching energy feels to me like um this person might have kind of kept you on a string Maybe, maybe this was kind of casual. They don't want to be single any longer. Maybe this is also the divine saying, you might have a decision to make, Scorpio. So let's take a look at what the divine wants you to know about this. Heads up. <laughs> Heads up. Scorpio, what do you need to know about this situation? This is beautiful. Someone has deep love they can no longer contain. My goodness. All right. Wow. We have the clock and the needle and thread. Somebody's coming back to make it right, to fix this relationship, perhaps to apologize. A reconciliation is coming. They might have really taken some time to go within. Um, they could be becoming very spiritual. Wow. What are they working through? This person is coming back. Wow, I just saw the card fear. What is your person working through, Scorpio? What do they need to overcome and, and this... You know, the path to you is kind of, I don't know, full of pit stops or obligations or something. What are they doing to get back to Scorpio spirit? This is such a straightforward reading. I don't even know if I'll extend this one. I may not need to. What are they working through? Planning and action, <laughs> point A to point B. Not so straightforward though. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Family, okay. Six of Cups can represent children. We saw that there could be a family dynamic that is changing. Um, they're pointing out the baby. For some, there's either a pregnancy or a very young child for some, okay? We have letting go and deserving. And what I feel about this is there, there's a recognition that you showed this person something that they were missing. And I'm gonna just leave that up to your interpretation and they see that now. They see that now. And this is the breaking free, letting go. Let's take a look at what comes next. Scorpio and their person. Let's look at what the divine <laughs> wants you to know. Clear, very clear, reconciliation heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Uh, there's an opportunity to reconnect and talk. What does your person intend in your connection? Okay. Beliefs. My convictions have been put to the test. These paradigms are deeply ingrained in me. Okay, the, with the download I just got on this is that they've had difficult past relationships and they have resisted being single. 
They have. And I, and I'm, you know, family could be something, family could be an influence. Okay. I heard one of the dots. Okay. There's several things going on here. A, something happened between you to split you up. B, for some of you, so not everything will resonate. Just take, take what does. This person didn't want to be connected. Um, C, this person has a complex family situation and that has kept you apart or has somehow influenced them. And I'm also getting there could be some distance with the world. Doesn't have to be, but holiday, let's unplug from the rest of the world. There is a desire to just grab you and steal you and lock away and enjoy each other. I'll leave it there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see how they're feeling about you, Scorpio. This was so straightforward. I'm telling you the energy that I'm feeling is less about the difficulties that either tore you apart or will be bringing you back together. And it's more about that beautiful, beautiful end goal energy. Cause I feel like this is what your person is considering. It could be that your person is incredibly busy, abundance. It could be that they know that you would have an abundant life together. I mean, just look at this fulfillment. I know who makes me happy. Oh my gosh. Okay. How do they feel about you? How does your person feel about you, Scorpio? Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Okay, we have practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. That is a little bit of this hanged man energy also. They, uh, what I'm getting from this, especially with forgiveness, nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments, that your person is having some empathy for your side of the story. Okay. What else? How are they feeling about Scorpio? Ooh, okay. Listen with your heart. You're listening, but need to hear with a loving heart and romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. I feel like when you break away from the rest of the world, you will be um, in, your, in your own little world. Like nothing else will exist. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Scorpio, let's get some messages from spirit for you. I'm not going to extend this one. It's so straightforward. How this plays out is going to differ for all of you. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay bottom of the deck, the universe is communicating to you through signs and synchronicities. Note what you're doing or thinking about when they appear. You might, if you're not talking, and I feel like perhaps with this four of swords energy, um, you're disconnected in some way from this person. I feel like spirit has been showing you little things that when you put them together is telling you a story. That's kind of what I'm getting. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. First, be careful of compromising yourself just to be connected to someone. You are never alone. Processing emotions is step one to healing them. And then this is interesting. Um, we have, if you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is no. If you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. Bottom deck energy. What's really interesting, Scorpio, is I feel that you may not think it's happening, but it is. That's one scenario. The other scenario is there could be a dynamic with perhaps another person, although I'm not I'm not seeing a huge energy of that in the reading, but 
one relationship perhaps is ending for another to begin. We do have a lot of endings, something pretty big being represented here. I feel like this is your story. This is your story. Let's get some advice from the Lighted Pathway. You don't see this coming. Reconnecting, bottom deck. How about timing, if appropriate, spirit? Honesty, okay, this is about bearing your soul, that heart-to-heart -heart conversation energy. You may hear a lot from this person. They may just pour it out. Wow. I just heard hearts reconnecting. Oh my gosh. Taking responsibility, forgiveness needed, wow. You have free will. Starting a business. I say that because forgiveness has come up a lot. It just depends, you know, what's happened. Conflict resolved. There, it could have been as simple as a misunderstanding. Decision needed. Okay. For some of you, yes, they are in a, another situation. They may be concerned you are committed to someone. Maybe you haven't talked for a while. Look at that. Reconnecting. Selfish, blending families, missing you, relocation. I did get a distance vibe with the world. It could be that there's something else happening and it might take a while. I'm going to ask one more time. Timing, spirit, if appropriate. Compliment each other. Reconnect it. Look at this. It's going to happen. They're going to make their way back to you, but I'm not getting a timing card. Okay, Scorpio, this could play out in September. It could play out in December. I don't know why I said December, but my goodness. Uh, get ready for it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, and have a wonderful month. I will see you mid-month.